Watch you guys, got another video here for you. What is the best PC security software for Windows 10 or Windows 11? I get this question quite a bit, and I'm going to be answering all of that in this video. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, which is CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, the links are in the video description. Click on one of those and add my promo code capital B capital R 09 and get 30% off your purchase order. Submit your order and when you've got your key, you can head over to the activation center, paste in your key and click on activate and you'll be able to activate your Windows 10 Pro. All the links and information are in the video description. So let's get back to the tutorial. So we've got no protection on this PC whatsoever. And this is for people that say they don't need an antivirus software on their PC and they disable all of the security software and they always say that they never get infected. Unfortunately, if you click on the wrong file, you can easily get infected. That's how easy it is. So we've got no PC protection here whatsoever. I'm just going to unzip this file here. And of course, because there's no protection, it will let me drop this file straight onto the computer. I just need to put in a password. The passwords are on here to protect uh, the file to stop it getting deleted before I drop it onto the system. But because there's no protection, it's going to let me just put the extension in here, .exe, and the damage is now done. You click on a file and that is it. All your data will be encrypted and you've just installed ransomware onto your system as quick as that. Now, I don't know about you, but it doesn't matter how clever or how clued up you are. It's a split second and it's too late. You are not going to be able to recover your data for some ransomware because there is no decryption tools for some of these ransomware. And this can be crippling to companies or even your data because it will all be encrypted. If you have no backups, you're completely scuppered and this will be really bad. So if you take a look here at the uh, photos that we had on our system here, you can see they're all encrypted. Even if you try to rename them again and have a look at them, you won't be able to because they're encrypted. And that is what ransomware is. It's probably one of the most devastating things that can happen to your data on your computer. And the only sure way of blocking it and stopping it from happening to you is to use security software to block it, whether it be anti-ransomware software, a good antivirus that blocks ransomware, or whatever method you use. So how does ransomware get on your PC? Well, there's many ways of getting ransomware on your computer. It could be clicking on dodgy links inside emails like this one. They could be phishing links or banking or anything like that, but it also could be ransomware and malicious like this as well. So downloading pirated software off the internet using crack software or anything like that, clicking on files from untrusted sources can also get you infected as well. There's many different ways of getting infected. It could be malware, it could be ransomware, it could be a Trojan, it could be a rat, it could be any type of malicious file that you're downloading and clicking on, or it could be a link that leads to that file. So be careful what you're clicking on. Now, I know we're all at different levels when it comes to computer uh, knowledge, and unfortunately, loads of people out there are at a lower level, and they will end up clicking on stuff thinking that they've won a new phone or they've won the lottery or whatever it may be, something like this. You're going to see someone hot on the other side by clicking on this link, or you've got whatever it may be that you're clicking on, and this can get you infected. So be very, very careful. Now, what happens if you're a little bit more clued up about things and you're not so gullible? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're never, ever going to get your PC infected with viruses or ransomware. You have to be super careful. Now, the other day I did a video about standard user accounts instead of using a administrator account. This is what we would call a layer of security. It's not foolproof, but it is a one layer of security that you've added to your computer. So by doing this, you're actually stopping a lot of malicious pups and programs trying to install or malware that might be trying to install, but it's not foolproof. It won't block ransomware alone. You will need to have other security software running alongside this. A good firewall would be another layer of security. Having a good antivirus is another layer of security. And then you can just build up on your computer's uh, PC protection. And this is how you protect yourself from ransomware and other nasty stuff. Backing up your data, keeping it stored away from your computer, and maybe using a 3-2-1 backup plan. And this way, it stops you from 
getting completely devastated if you ever got hit with ransomware because you'd have backups of all your data and it won't hurt as much. So you can see we've got Windows Defender here and it's all turned on. Everything is turned on and we've also got the standard user account. Now, if we unzip this ransomware here and then drop it onto the system, it will possibly detect it and then remove it before it has a chance to release its payload and encrypt all my data. And this is what your antivirus program is trying to do. It's trying to protect your system. There is no guarantee that it will happen because it could slip through the net and you could click on this and it could then do its damage. This is why you can't rely on any antivirus program like this. You have to use a bit of common sense on what you're clicking on and what you're downloading. So if you're one of these people that uh, vacate a lot of dodgy sites and download a lot of, uh, you know, paid programs and not paying for them and cracking them, then you're going to more than likely end up getting infected at some point. And this is the risk you run when you do that type of behavior. Now, also, it's the people that don't know what they're doing uh, that have a risk of getting infected as well. Now, if you're a bit more clued up, there's a chance that you're not going to click on those things and not use certain uh, applications off the internet and not do that type of behavior and you probably be okay and you're not going to get infected but when you're doing stuff like this there's always a risk and it comes down to you the individual on what you're actually doing on your computer now remember this is just one ransomware file and if i was to go out and download a bunch of fresh samples and run these on the computer this possibly a big chance that one of these will slip through the net and encrypt all of the data. So don't just rely on your antivirus program or like Windows Security or Windows Defender to block them because it just won't. Ransomware is very hard to stop and uh, sometimes it can really be devastating to businesses and other people's data. So you can see the data is being protected here by Windows Defender. It probably knows what this sample is and it's blocking it. Now, you can always add another layer of security like the Acronis offerings here. They have also a cyber protection for home and also cyber protection for business. And they're pretty affordable and it does come with ransomware protection built in. It will also protect you against, uh, you know, malware attacks and things like that, as well as ransomware. And I'll show you how this works as well. And this will be adding another layer of security. I've just downloaded the free version here from Acronis. Now, they don't offer this support for this anymore. This is their free anti-ransomware. But if you bought the package, it would uh, basically have this built into it and you would have a backup solution, anti-ransomware solution and all that other good stuff built into their uh, software. I've already done a video on that quite a while ago. You can check that out in my video description. So if I drop this file onto the system, we're going to use the same file. This is not, you know, by any means a, you know, an extensive test we're doing. I'm just going to give you an example of what happens on your PC. So when I put the executable name on here, obviously Windows Defender is going to quickly detect this and delete it. So what I'm going to do is disable Windows Defender and just leave the uh, ransomware protection software from Acronis on here so you can see. I'm just going to quickly put the password in and turn all of this off. Now, I wouldn't advise you to do this on your computer. You want to be as safe as possible by leaving layers of security on your PC. And you would do that by leaving Windows Defender on and having a Cronus running as well, which will protect you against any sort of nasty attack like this. So let's do the same test again. And I'll quickly put the password in here and I'll rename it and we can run this file and anti-ransomware software should automatically detect what's going on with your PC and block it. So let's go ahead and give this a name. You can see we've got all our data here and I'll quickly run this uh, ransomware here. Now, of course, if we had no protection at all here, it's going to encrypt all our data as I showed you earlier on in the video. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And there you go. The payload has started and you can see here possible ransomware detected and it gives you the decision what you want to do. I'm going to block it. And now I'm going to say, recover my files. Then I'll recover the files that it um, encrypted. In this case, it was just seven files. It stopped it after seven files, and it's now going to recover these files back. So this is what uh, Acronis does. 
So if we look inside here, we can see that all of our files are perfectly safe and it blocked that ransomware. That's what it can do. And that's basically another layer of security you're adding to your computer. Now, remember, it was asking me whether I want to block it or trust it. And this is going to come down to a bit of common sense and a bit of knowledge. You will need to know what to block and what to trust. If I'd have said trust there, it would have done damage to my data and encrypted it. Now, you can always find uh, deals on premium software like Trend Micros here, Maximum Security. This does have ransomware protection on it. And there is plenty of other software companies out there offering the same sort of packages. You just have to find one that suits your pocket. And again, you can use uh, the software to protect you against ransomware as well. Now, which one is the best? This video is not about what the best antivirus software is. I can say that for another day. But basically, uh, choose whatever one you want. And there is options out there for free versions if you don't want to pay for software. So this is a Kaspersky Security Cloud. This is a free application. Bitdefender have now stopped their uh, free antivirus program. But you can see this one is uh, free and available. And uh, we've got this installed on the system. It's got some features on here which you can use. But there's also some premium features which they've disabled, like firewall and a bunch of other stuff. So be careful when you're using free software like this because they will take out a lot of stuff which is pretty useful to you. And uh, if you're going to be using the paid stuff, you will get all those bundled in. So there's also a lot of stuff I've noticed with uh, software companies now where they're having, adding in VPNs and password managers and cleanup and optimization tools. All this is becoming a bit bloated and a lot of them are going down this route, but we could discuss that in another video. So you can see the firewall is a premium uh, offering which they're offering here. Uh, also application control. These can all be very useful uh, to you. Software update, uh, you know, anti-banner and also some other stuff like anti-spam and application manager and a bunch of other bits and pieces inside here. So whether you use the built-in uh, antivirus protection like Windows Defender or you use something like Kaspersky Security Cloud, which is a free option or any other type of free option, or maybe you use a premium option, it's entirely up to you. As long as you're very careful on what you click on and what you're doing on your PC, you should be perfectly fine. So this uh, software here is no different. It should protect me against ransomware. I shall quickly drop this on the PC and we'll quickly change the extension and I'll put EXE on the end here and we'll run it to see whether it actually stops this ransomware in its tracks. So let's go ahead and click on the file and you can see already it's detected something and it's blocking it. And uh, what is de it's dealing with this uh, ransomware. So if you look here, I'll click on it one more time and uh, it's not letting me do anything with this file. So I'll give it a few seconds to see what's happening here with the system. I'll drag out another version of this and try to run it just in case it's uh, something's gone wrong here. And you'll see basically what happens here. It should still block these files from running on the computer. So let me quickly change this here. Right click. I'm going to rename this extension here. And I'll try it again. It's already moved it. It just took a bit of time to do what it wanted to do with that file. It was probably checking it. So basically it blocked the file from running and then it detected it was a ransomware file and then it deleted those files. And that's basically how that protected the computer. And that was a free piece of software from Kaspersky. So what type of software should you have on your PC? That's going to come down to the level of knowledge that you have and how clued up you are when it comes to using your computer. If you're a complete novice, when it comes to using PCs, then you'll probably need a lot more protection to protect yourself. If you're more advanced and you know what you're doing, then maybe you can reduce the amount of security that you need on your PC because you're not going to be so gullible to click on certain things in emails and, and download certain stuff. And then you've got the ones that live on the edge that are reckless and they just download just about anything on the Internet and install it on their PC and they don't care. And these people end up getting infected. And of course, they end up coming to me for help to remove viruses from their PC. 
So whatever person you are will determine what sort of level security you're going to need and how many layers of security you're going to need. But you yourself are the best antivirus out there because if you don't click on stuff and don't download stuff, you're not going to get infected. If you like this type of content, then check out my YouTube channel. I've got 2,500 plus videos up there about all sorts of topics. You can go over there and watch to your heart's content. Maybe consider subscribing and then clicking the bell and then clicking the all button to be notified when I upload new videos every day. And also, if you want to help out a little bit more, you can always join my YouTube members group. It costs $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. You get a loyalty badge and some custom emojis and you get some extra perks on my Discord server. I'll also add all your names to the end credits of my videos, just like these awesome people here. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.